Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Tuesday the 26th, I believe, of uh, June. And uh, so, as you can see, it's overcast again. We had a lot of uh, rain this morning. And uh, that's why we didn't end up putting the solar panels and stuff today, just because of the weather. But I wanted to show you what we did here. Um, so everything is done, reburied. The wires are coming out of here. They go right into the battery room. And uh, so I put a lot of stone on top. And then we reburied everything there. And this is all reburied. And I put a lot of stone here just because this is where we drive over. So I wanted to make sure it was pretty solid. And as you can see, I've already driven over it. I don't know if you can see it or not. But I've uh, driven over it a few times already. So this will just pack down. It'll be good to go. Um, and then the other line is coming here. And I used a lot of the dirt there just to rebury everything. And you see the wires are coming out of here. Okay. So looking at the comments, and i got to get on um, today and start answering some. But, uh, you know, people are like, oh, code is this and code is that. Listen, guys, I am off grid. Okay. I'm not running 220 electrical. Um, I'm not running 120 electrical underground. Okay. I'm running from my solar panels, which are going to be here underground in the pipe to inside the building everything is converted inside of there um, from dc power to ac power that's all run everything from the building into the house all that's done to code okay because um, the house is all done wired in code because i had an electrician come in and do that but as far as setting up with the uh the, the you know for the solar and the wires underground or whatnot I mean, i'm gonna tell you what if, if you guys want to look back when we did the first three panels, okay, which were these three panels here, the first year we were here, the the uh, wire was above ground. That entire winter, it was above ground, okay? It did not get buried until the next spring when I added the other three panels. And I used, like I told you guys, I used that plastic PVC type of piping there, okay? So that's two years ago, you know, basically almost two years now. But that's running fine. I've had no issues whatsoever with it. I went with the bigger um, tubing this time just because I wanted to. There's no, I don't have to go by code, okay? So it's like, you know, you have to, no, 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 I don't have to do anything. I'm not hooked up to the system, okay? I have my own individual thing. My house is up to code because I had the electrician come in and do everything to code just because of the simple fact is that I wanted to make sure everything was safe for my kids. So I had an electrician do that. As far as running... The panels, the wire into the into the uh, building to hook up to the batteries and through the charge controller and stuff. I don't have to have. There's nothing that says that I have to do it a certain way. Okay, I am not hooked up to the system at all. So I just want to clarify that. Maybe it's better if you use that piping. I don't know, but uh, I didn't. So that's you know that's the end of story on that. Okay, I'm not changing it out. I'm not digging it back up. It's going to be fine. Okay. I'm not going to have any issues. I didn't have any issues with this over here. I know I'm not going to have any issues with that. It's on, it's all buried. It you know it's uh, it's done up so that I don't have to worry about it. You know I appreciate the comments. I do. Um, you know I know you guys are not trying to slam me, which is fine. I mean you know, but uh, I don't have to worry about code as far as that goes because I'm not running heavy duty uh, 120 or, or 240 underground. Okay. Now if I was doing something like that. Then yes, I would have to go with the, with the you know the different piping and you know go deeper like they say in the whole nine yards. But this is totally different. So I just want to clarify that up for you guys just so you knew ahead of time. And that's fine. Like I said, I don't take the comments you know bad at all and stuff like that. So um, you know just just uh, I just wanted to put that out there. So you know the the game plan is tomorrow is supposed to be a decent day. And uh, we're planning on getting the you know panels up and getting them wired up, and getting all that part done. So that you know it should go pretty smoothly now, uh, with getting the trenching done. And I'm gonna tell you what it was it was not fun work. It was not easy work, and I was pretty tired when I got done doing it all yesterday. But uh, I'm happy that that part of it's over. I'll be honest with you. So, but I'm looking forward to getting his other four panels online, and so that's the game plan. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how much more power we're going to bring in with them set up like this. Eventually, what I plan on doing is having 
you know, three different racks, okay? Now, obviously, these six here will go on their own rack. Um, I'll end up adding two more panels onto here once we get everything set up. Uh, down, you know, that's down the road when I can afford to get a couple more panels. That's what I'm going to do. And uh, so I'll do that. And then, like I said, it's just like I said, we just keep working at it. And eventually, I'll set up a third one down here and we'll add another, you know, six panels onto that. So that'll take us up to 4,500 watts of, of solar. Uh, I had a lady that uh, she has a solar system. And uh, we were on, out and about, Heather and I were today, and I stopped and and she was home, and so I talked to her about her solar system. And she has uh, a 700 or 7,500 watt system, okay? And she also had geothermal, which is pretty cool. So her and I had a really nice conversation. And um, she said her bills, I mean, she has a big old uh, 1800s farmhouse. So she said her bills are greatly reduced in the summer. She gets like a bill for like $40 in the summer, and it's a little bit more in the winter, she told me, because she is grid tied again. And so, uh, you know, her and I were having a conversation. I just kind of basically said it might be a good idea to have a battery backup just in case. And she did agree with me on that, that that, that definitely would be a good investment to do. But like I said, you know, I just, I've always, I like to see what other people are doing and how they're doing it. So, uh, you know, er, like I said, and everybody's different. I mean, she had, you know, people that she hired to come in and do it, which I'm sure cost her a lot more money. And, uh, you know, that, but that was her choice, obviously. It's getting a little windy now, but it looks like we might get some more rain. I'm going to show you up here. Um, the sun is out, but the clouds are all over. And like I said, this morning it rained pretty steady, almost to 11 o'clock this morning. And then we had to clear up for a little while. And uh, so I, I, I think they were calling for some more rain this afternoon. It's about 5 o'clock now. And uh, so, you know, I mean, who knows? I mean, it's just... Uh, Every day is different, but uh, so yeah, so today was doing some running around day, you know, uh, getting some bills paid and all that fun stuff that you have to do in life. But uh, so anyway, um, you know, talking about the garden again, it's, it's you know, it's coming along. It's really, really doing well. And like I said, I've been real pleased with that. We haven't, I, I've probably realistically watered the garden myself three times since we've put it in. We've had that much rain. Um, it has been absolutely insane how much rain we've had. And, you know, it's not always a steady downpour all day long, but we've been getting rain every single day. So we haven't had to water at all. I mean, like I said, today it rained all morning. Uh, probably, like I said, up to about 11 o'clock this morning it was raining. So, And it was steady this morning. It was really steady. But uh, that's okay. I mean, it's uh, you see all the blossoms in here for the uh, zucchini. And if you look, I don't know if you can see right through there, nice, nice zucchini growing already there. And uh, over on this side, like I said, we got uh, the cucumbers. And you can see all the blossoms and the cucumbers on the ends of those. So they're all coming along pretty good. I mean, I'm like I said, I'm real pleased with the way everything's growing. Uh, you know, it's, it's getting there. So anyway, so one of the things I did want to talk about too, I wanted to show you guys. On top of the camper, I got the tarp up there still. I have the stuff to do the sealant on the top of the camper again, and I can't even touch that until we get a couple dry days in a row. If we get two or three dry days in a row, I could get up there and get that squared away. But I, with as much rain as we've had, and I'm telling you what, I've, it's just this year, now last summer, we had hot and dry. I mean, it was hot and dry all summer long. This year so far, and I mean, the summer technically just started, but you know, Ever since the spring, it's been wet, wet, wet. We've had a lot of rain this year, you know, and it's just, it's almost rained every day almost. It's weird how the weather has been. You know, like like right now, it's it's nice out, and it's been nice out for a couple hours. But again, this morning, it was raining like crazy. So uh, tomorrow's supposed to be a decent day. So tomorrow is the project, like I said, is to get the panels in. And so what I'm going to do, somebody had asked me, so I wanted to clarify this too. How am I going to hold, once I put the panels in here, okay, how am I going to hold them down? Well, these 1x5s, I can come over to the top here, and basically it'll cover both sides of this when I do it. That will go right over the top, and so like a lip of that, maybe like, you know, of this board here, like a lip will come over to the top, 
and hold that panel in place so it won't blow out and that's that's what we're going to do with that so that'll that'll go up and uh, we'll do that with those so then that way they're going to be good to go they're not going to go anywhere uh, you know like I say guys things are coming along it takes time you know we're working on it and uh, you know it just you keep plugging along you know I mean that's all you can do with anything so just wanted to share what was going on and I want to clarify as far as the piping goes and stuff like that and uh, I don't have to worry about codes because I'm not hooked up to the grid okay not not meaning that I want to jerry rig everything that's not what I'm saying but I'm not running 120 or 240 you know electric underground I'm not doing that I'm running the wires from the solar panels underground into the into the shop which goes into the batteries, which is going to be converted from the um, DC power to AC power, and that goes into the house. And like I said, that line that comes in from the house, the, everything up to that point is code. So, I mean, and, uh, you know, like I said, we're good to go as far as that goes. So, but uh, I wanted to share that. There's there's Buddy, or not, or not uh, there's Lucy, I'm sorry. He's just chilling out. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys and clear that up. So hopefully that explains some stuff. Um, you know, everybody, I keep getting these comments, code, code, code. No, I don't have to worry about that, okay? Um, I'm independent. So, and like I said, I'm not running 120 or 240 cable under, underground. If I was running that, I get it. Yeah, I got to go down 18 inches, and I got to use the right piping and all that type of stuff. But that's not what I'm doing, okay? So, that's it for now, guys. Um, I'm going to jump off of here. I just wanted, like I said, I wanted to clarify what was going on with that. And tomorrow's going to be an exciting day because we're going to have another 1,000 watts coming online. And I'm looking forward to that. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how much power we produce once that's up. So I will talk to you all tomorrow. Remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them how you feel every day. Make sure that they know. And, uh, you know, remember, STD, guys. One step at a time, one thing at a time, one day at a time. You'll get there, whatever your goals are, whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish. As long as you work at things methodically, you will get there, you know. I mean, we're a great example. Look what we've gotten done here, you know, in a two-year period. You know, it's come a long, long way. There's a long way to go, and I know that, but we're getting there, okay? So anyway, listen, I will talk to you all tomorrow, and uh, we will see you later, all right? Prepper Nurse went out for now.